Hey, it's me. Do you recognize me? Do I look different? I don't know these surroundings. I'm in a kitchen. This is not a cooking channel all of a sudden. I just wanted to try something different, you know? Today, I'm gonna be baking. Why? Well, because I do these squishy makeovers with all these little baked goods and they're so cute, but you know what? When it comes down to it, you can't, you can't eat them. I am going to be turning a design from squishy makeovers into a reality. This is not my kitchen. I've actually been wanting to do this idea for quite some time, but you know, our kitchen at home is just not very good for filming a video. Also, we don't have a full-size oven, so that poses another problem. I'm out of town right now on a little trip, and I figured, hey, Look at this kitchen. This is the squishy that we are going to try to replicate today. It is a blondie, which is a brownie essentially without the chocolate. It's in the shape of a heart. It's got a little dippy action going on with some chocolate. Do I know what I'm doing when it comes to baking? No. Have I baked before? Why am I interviewing myself? Yes, I have, but I've never actually had to try to make something look good. The goal was to make it edible. I went shopping, picked out everything I need, lots of sugar and uh, baking stuff. Printed out the recipe because paper. Yes, blondies are one of the simplest, tastiest baked goods you can make. Debatable and taste like deep rich buttery caramel. I'm gonna just get started if you want this recipe for whatever reason It will be in the description heat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, okay All right, it's uh It's making noise. That's kind of loud. Why are you breathing so hard? Line an eight by inch metal baking pan. Eight by inch, eight by inch, eight by inch with aluminum foil. Aha! No, I didn't just buy this. Aluminum foil. Done with that. My pan has been foiled in a medium bowl. I have my bowl. Woo! Woo! Eight tablespoons of butter. Where's the butter? I need to melt this. Oh, here they are. Nice plates. Melted, not softened, right? Don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Butter fountain. Yeah, I know, I already got it out. Now, dark brown sugar. Whoa, the brown sugar. Good. Stir. I'm not the most coordinated person in the world. Add the egg, vanilla, and almond extract. I didn't buy almond extracts! Oh, it's optional. Okay, never mind. Here's an egg. Vanilla extract. Why is this stuff so expensive, by the way? One teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. They're gonna be a little extra vanilla-y. <laughs> Where's that paper towel? This is like toilet paper. Open the salt. Oh, uh. oh, never mind, I got it. Stir vigorously until smooth. That looks pretty daggone smooth to me. Uh. One cup of flour. One. What was I supposed to put one cup of? The brown sugar. One cup of brown sugar. This is three fourths of a cup. The biggest one I brought is three fourths of a cup, so it was on the bottom, so I assumed it was a cup, but it's not. It's three, th th three fourths of a cup. I'm pretty sure it messes things up if you do it in the wrong order, but oh well. I'm gonna add another fourth cup. 
Do you have a cup? Okay. They have a cup. So here's a cup. And it is a cup, right? A cup. A cup, a cup, 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 cup. Yes. Beat with the wooden spoon or spatula for 40 to 50 strokes. Who took the time to count? This is what we're working with here. We're ready for this, all right? I'm gonna put the batter in the pan. Yes! Just look at that clean bowl. Mm. Just um, spread it. And this is super dark. I should have used light brown sugar. Cause look how light this is. The recipe told me to do it. Here they are, already failing. I'm gonna put these in the oven. While I'm waiting for those to bake, I am gonna make the filling. Done! Yeah, I'm just using um, store-bought frosting. I think it's good. I bought this cookie cutter to cut out a heart. It's a very different shape. Do I want to use this to be safe or should I like make a template with this and then have it the exact heart shape? I'm gonna try to go exact. I don't have like any cardboard or anything. Actually, here we go. Template, done. I have this, which I'm pretty sure is like a piping bag. I don't know, I've never used one of these before, but I'm pretty sure you can like squeeze out icing and stuff. Okay, yes, this is what I was, <coughs> <coughs> this is what I was expecting. I'm pretty sure you just take the tip and then, I did it. Now you just put the icing in there and then, <coughs> paint is so light. That's not natural. It has two thumbs and neither of them feel right. This should be cool at this point. I need to get these out of here. Looks to be, uh, you know, fine. Here's my template. Cut this into a heart. Oh, okay, 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 we got this. Heart number one. Wait, let me actually try this. It's very chewy. Ah, it's actually kind of good. What? All right, I have to do this again. Going in for the kill. Wonderful, heart number two. Oh, ho, ho, it's coming together, yeah. We got two hearts, one soul. Breaking out the piping bag now. Stay. Oh, kidding. It's all good, cleaned it with my butt. Take this stuff, put it in bag. Just, okay. Just put the stuff in the bag. It works! That is beautiful, that is wonderful. 
That's wonderful. Next step is the dipped chocolate. I got this, which is chocolate melts, but I've never used this before, so I got chocolate chips as a backup. Someone opened this bag already, though. Whole bunch of chocolate chips. They're melting. Oh, wow. I got every sprinkle color under the sun because sprinkles are important and I believe in sprinkles. I need to find eight little containers. Found a bunch of big bowls. Ooh. All right, that'll work. Now I have to dip this. <coughs> It's dipped. Now, while it's still wet, I gotta put these sprinkles on. I think this calls for the sprinkle song, actually. I'm gonna put it down. Let me put this one on a plate just so we can have a true comparison. I dipped the wrong corner. Okay, that's fine. It's the mirror image. Here they are, side by side. Do they look the same? <laughs> no, not, you know, the main thing is the color. The brownie is too dark and the chocolate is too light. But I think, you know, overall, it's not that bad. Like, I was kind of expecting worse. So, I mean, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. You know what? I'm happy. <laughs> I, I think I should actually eat it. Wow, that's a lot, a lot of sugar. Wow, it's good. You know what? I forgot the powdered sugar on top. I was supposed to do that before I dipped it. I bought a whole bag of powdered sugar to do that. It's never too late. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's actually it. This was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I got a big mess to clean up now, so I'm gonna get started on that. And I will see you guys next Friday. Bye.